Ever since the exclusive preview, Mnet's Kingdom Puzzle has been under fire for having an unfair ranking system, dividing the participants into tiers according to their achievements as an idol. And not just that, the performance reevaluation also exposed the biased judgment of the participants towards their competitors through a voting and downvoting them. How did this voting method affect the fates of the participants? Let's find out. The second episode of Queendom Puzzle continues the performance reevaluation of the participants. Last week, the rivalries were highlighted, especially with the vocalists and dancers. This time, we get to see the battle of the rappers, Lightsome Sanga, Purple Kiss Yuki, and CLC Sieun. Though it was the most awaited moments since episode 1, it was not the most talked about this week. Netizens noticed that there was something wrong with the upvoting and downvoting system for the performance reevaluation. The rule is simple. If a participant thinks that the current performer is better than her, she should upvote. And if she thinks she can do better, she should downvote. But sadly, it seems that the participants have their own rules and strategies for this mission. And the viewers have a lot of controversial takes on it. Noticeably, the first set of performers received a decent amount of upvotes, while the ones who performed later got more down votes than expected. It looked like the participants became more unforgiving as they saw their rivals perform. One viewer commented, it wouldn't be as entertaining, but they should have hidden all the voting scores until the very end after everyone performed. That way, nobody would feel compelled to downvote in order to curve the rankings in their favor. I have a feeling those who got a low score started ranking others more harshly. Let's take AOA's Doha as an example. She is the first one to perform and she got 16 downvotes because of a mistake. But Lysam Sanga, who performed later, didn't make a mistake yet she got the same number of downvotes as Doha. There's also Rocket Punch's Jury and Yonhi, Laboom's Hain. Momoland's Jui, and more who performed with much effort, yet were more downvoted compared to what was expected. Even the upvotes for the good performances this episode, like Lovely's K and h one Ks we saw seem to be affected. One viewer commented, to be honest, K and Huiso going later on was a setup. People who had already ranked high were never going to upvote them in order to keep their own rank high. Are they being biased? Are the high-ranking participants downvoting the others to maintain their rank? Or is this just Mnet's way to let us know their picks this season? There were clearly a lot of questions here. You can imagine the reactions on social media regarding the biased voting system. Definitely, the sequence of the performances affected the opinions of the girls who are trying to survive in the show. It's not that they are mean people, but they need to have a strategy to remain in the competition. The same can also be said with Bora and Jiwon's decisions in choosing the picks and drops for the Snap team and Charismatic team. On the second half of the episode, a new mission was introduced, the 7 vs 7 team battle. They will be divided into four teams of seven to perform two signals songs entitled Snap and Charismatic. Charismatic was composed by Michelle Cho and Ilva Dimberg, who worked on Eugene's hit song Hype Boy. Snap is composed by Ryan Jun and written by Kim Aina. Meanwhile, the performance directors were La Chica and Cho Young Jun respectively. As people who ranked the highest in the reevaluation, Cherry Bullets Bora and Jiwon were given the honor to complete the puzzle for the picks and drops of the Signal Song teams. But of course, as they have to pick the girls whom they're going to drop, there were quite negative reactions in social media. Honestly, this is already inevitable, especially for Mnet survival shows. Both girls were questioned for their choices, especially Bora. For the Snap team, Bora chose all the rappers in the group for the pick team and didn't even leave one rapper for the drop team. This left a negative impression on the viewers, while the fans are pointing out that this could just be one of Mnet's evil edits. One fan tweeted, Do you guys really honestly think that Bora, a sweetheart who gets happy when she eats, was trying to be mean? Be f***ing real! Queendom Puzzle is a survival show she is trying to survive. Well, whatever team the girls are in right now, they can only do their best to prove themselves. There was already obvious tension among the teams because of the grouping method and also challenges, like the charismatic pick team who was shocked to know that they lost one valuable member, Cheon, who was leading them in the choreography. What could happen in the next episodes? So what do you think of the netizens' reactions in the second episode of Queendom Puzzle? Do you share the same opinions as them? Let us know in the comment section. Until next time!